James here from Build a Better Business. In this video, we're going to look at using Adobe Reader with some of the uh, other features that most people don't use. So this is Adobe Reader. It is a free software and most people would just use the PDF to uh, normally when you would export a document into a PDF. So you are just using the PDF to create a document and maybe email it off somewhere or print it out somewhere to uh, either show your customers or your clients. Now, some of the things that people are not aware about Adobe Reader is that the ability to add notes or add uh, edits into your PDF. And I'm going to show you uh, what I mean by that. So I'm going to open up a sample uh, form here. So I've opened up this uh, sample form and let's imagine that this is a credit card authorization form, but it can be any type of forms uh, that is a PDF. Most likely, if you are not aware of it, you may be printing out a credit card form or any form and uh, maybe signing it or filling up the form by pen and then scanning the, uh, the document or maybe taking a photo with your smartphone and then emailing that off. If you are doing it that way, the one disadvantage is that number one, you will need a printer and number two, you will need paper. So how can you avoid this? And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Adobe Reader has a function called Forms, Fill and Sign and it's at the top here. Uh, click on that. Right, so you can actually see that there is uh, some other options. Let's select Fill and Sign Tool. What you can see here is that there's a menu to add text. All right, so let's gonna click on Add Text, and you have this uh, window that opens up here. Let's just move it out of the way, and you can add text, and you see that the cursor now is a a single line that you can actually add text. All right, so I'm just going to say that uh, my name is here. All right, James Wu. Okay. And you can actually select different types of uh, fonts for your text, right? For example, let's say you want to choose something more uh, traditional. It could be Times New Roman. Uh, you can adjust the font size and, uh, to make the text larger, etc. So you can do that. Okay, but the main thing is that now you know that you can actually uh, fill up the form without printing it out. Okay, so you can put your ID number. I'm just going to put here some figures here. All right, so etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You can put in your credit card number, right? Whatever it is. All right. Besides adding text, you can actually add a check mark here as well. All right, by selecting a check mark. And if you move your cursor over now, uh, over here, over the PDF, you notice that you can select a, uh, a check mark. Okay, you can enlarge it by dragging the window over there if you want to. Okay, so this is pretty useful, especially if you want to pre fill a form and uh, tell your customer or you want to sign this, right? So this can work both ways. Either you are using it for yourself to fill up the form and email it to somebody else, or you can actually send it to your customer as well. All right, so let me just uh, add another check mark here. Let's say for example, this form is to be sent out and you want to tell your customer, please sign at the check mark, right? So it's indicated over there. The next point is actually about placing a signature. Right, you notice that one is uh, placing an initial and the other one is placing a signature. All right, so you can select this signature and you can actually type a signature, all right, or use a webcam or draw your signature or use an image that you have taken. So for this video, I'm just going to uh, use draw my signature, all right. So I'm just going to draw it. Now, if you're using a mouse to draw a signature, very likely it's not going to look uh, anywhere close to your real signature, right? So I'm just going to do this. All right, so uh, sorry for the ugly uh, signature, but that's how you can do it. And if you click on over there, the signature is placed on the form. So that's one way of signing a form. You can actually use an image. And if you have taken an image, whereby you sign your name on a piece of paper, you can then uh, use that image to put it onto uh, your PDF and that image will be embedded into your form. So I'm not going to do that uh, in this video. I'm going to show you how you can actually um, create a signature later on in another video uh, using a software uh, where you will sign on a piece of paper but that image will actually be transparent so that when you embed it into the PDF, it will seem as if you have actually signed your signature in the form. You know, what I mean is by this, if I move this, right, uh, an image that is transparent, when you move it over the line here, you will notice that the signature overlaps it, right? If you use a normal image or a non-transparent image, then 
uh, it will block out the line so it doesn't look that realistic. So anyway, I hope that this helps uh, you to make use of a PDF better, right? So this is using Adobe Reader. So this is James from Build a Better Business. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope that this tip would actually help you to be a little bit more productive to build uh, a better business so that you don't waste time creating paper forms that you discard after uh, scanning and emailing it. This is James. Check out my other videos and remember subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated on any new videos that I release. You can also head on over to my website at jameswood.net to see other articles and resources that may be useful to, uh, to you. So remember, do something small today to build a better business.